Today's meditation is on Mark chapter 4. When Jesus walked the earth, he spoke in parables, not to hide the truth from me, but to hide it for me. As one of his followers, I am given revelation knowledge to understand the secrets of the kingdom of God. So I look at what he did and learn from it. I listen to what he said and understand. I turn to God for forgiveness, and in his unfailing mercy, he has forgiven all of my sins, past and future. The foundational parable Jesus taught was the parable of the sower. He said that if I didn't understand the meaning of this parable, I wouldn't be able to understand any of his parables. This is how the kingdom of God operates. The farmer sows the seed, which is the word of God. The seed that falls on the footpath represents those who hear the message, only to have Satan come at once and snatch it from their hearts. The seed on the rocky soil represents those who hear the message and immediately receive it with joy. But because their hearts fail to sink a deep root, they don't endure for long. For when trouble or persecution comes on account of the message, they immediately wilt and fall away. The seed that fell among the thorns represents others who hear God's word, but all too quickly the message is crowded out by the worries of this life, the lure of wealth, and the desire for other things so no fruit is produced. And the seed that fell on good soil represents those who open their hearts to receive the message and their lives bear good fruit. Some yield a harvest of 30, 60, even a hundred times as much as was planted. The seed is the same in every case. God's word never changes and it always has the ability to produce. The difference is the soil. So I prepare the soil of my heart and mind to receive the seed. I till the soil and remove the rocks so the seed can develop deep roots. When trouble comes, the word remains. I am careful to weed my garden and don't allow the cares of this world to choke the word. And if I don't grow weary of guarding God's word in my heart and mind, I will reap a harvest many times over what was planted. I will let God's light shine through me. There are no secrets from God. I know that everything that is hidden will eventually be brought into the open, and every secret will be brought to light. So I live my life in a way that is pleasing to Him, I listen to God's word and revelation knowledge comes. I pay close attention to what I hear. I am diligent to understand the meaning behind what I hear. The closer I listen, the more understanding I am given. According to my longing to understand, much more is added to me. If I listen with an open heart, I will receive more revelation but those who don't listen with open hearts will lose what little understanding they think they have. My job is to continue to sow seed. Night and day, whether I'm asleep or awake, the seed sprouts and grows. I don't need to understand how it happens. The earth produces the crops on its own. First, a leaf blade pushes through then the heads of wheat are formed, and finally the grain ripens. And as soon as the grain is ready, the farmer comes and harvests it with a sickle, for the harvest time has come. The same is true in my life. As I plant God's word into my heart and mind, it will produce a crop on its own. Even the mustard seed, though it is the smallest of all seeds, becomes the largest of all garden plants. It grows long branches, and the birds make nests in its shade. God's word 
is as full of power and authority today as it was when Jesus rebuked the wind and told the waves to be silent. At his word, the wind stopped howling and the water became perfectly calm. There is nothing to fear. In the authority of his name, I can calm all the storms in my life. Until next time, be blessed and be a blessing.